is a beautiful day. It is September 14th and it's around 11 in the morning. And we woke up this morning, it was 49 degrees. <laughs> so um, the temperatures are cooling down, thank goodness, and we don't have rain in the forecast for several days. Thank goodness, because it's been just so, so wet. A lot of my plants have just succumbed to disease this year from all the humidity. So hopefully I'll get a little break in the action and I can actually enjoy my garden for a little while. So I'll just walk through here, show you guys what's growing in the container garden. This um, original green stock right here, I am slowly transitioning it to a fall garden. So, but right now I have a lot of cucumbers that I'll harvest today. And then, and here I also have planted cilantro, which is up and growing. That'll be for the fall. And then we have some arugula back in there as well. And then of course, all these little cherry tomatoes in here. And I'll just plan to leave them in here along with the cucumbers until my first frost. Okay, over here are the nasturtiums. Looking really pretty, wonderful, and salads. So nice. And then, um, down here you'll see the nasturtiums are dropping their seeds everywhere. So I've been picking those up and saving them for next year's garden. Okay? And I'll probably do a seed giveaway so you guys can grow them too. I won't know which color they are. I'm just picking them up and putting them all in the same place. So anyway, over here is um, the green stock where my peppers are. And as you know, I've had the problem with the diseases. And so I'll harvest probably the rest of these peppers today. That'll be my last and final harvest of peppers for the year. And I'll pull out these tomato plants down here and I'll plant spinach in behind all of this. Okay? Over here I've planted out this original green stock with fall vegetables. At the top we have cabbage, that's Chinese cabbage. Have lettuce on the second tier there. That's the French crisp lettuce. And then I have cilantro on the third tier. You can see it, they're just starting to come up. And then in these empty pockets here, I have carrots, red core carrots and they have just germinated we had enough rain to get them up so those have just come up I have fennel here and then of course a lot of nasturtiums and more seeds are dropping there so a lot of nasturtiums over here and then bolting basil which I'm just leaving for the little bees okay and then sweet potatoes hanging in there looking good Hopefully I'll have potatoes, as I always say. <laughs> Just never know until you get down there and start digging around. And then here are turnip greens, mostly. And this is a leaf green stock. Um, lots of parsley in here, too. Some nasturtiums there. And it has not started blooming yet. <laughs> Maybe when the temperatures cool down, this nasturtium plant here will start blooming. <laughs> um, and then fennel and French crisp lettuce there. Over here we have scallions and a um, lot of lettuce, a lot of nasturtiums, parsley, and more turnip greens. And then over here is mostly all arugula, along with the leeks up there. So lots of arugula. Been really enjoying it. Um, this is my Valencia tree. So there's the little orange there, and there's a couple more on there, I think. It's finally turning orange, and there's a green bean plant in here. And I picked a lot of green beans off this one plant. I just, every week I go out here and get a huge handful of green beans. That's jade bush bean. Very disease resistant. And then over here is just arugula and lettuce, which I'll move into probably that original green stock where I'm going to pull out the tomato, tomatoes and the peppers. Okay. And then spinach over here. It's looking great. Um, now that the temperatures are cooling down, the spinach will take off. All right, it takes a little while for spinach. It might come up, might start not start growing quickly until the temperatures cool down. So if you're planting spinach right now and it's just germinated but it's not doing much more, give it some time. Those temperatures cool down, you'll start to have a lot of leafy greens on your hands. Okay, and then ginger over here, and then the sweet potato slips back there. All right, um, then I have my chickens back there. I let them out last night, let them run around a little bit. I'm doing that now. I'm doing a lot of diff things differently than um, 
I did two years ago when I did my chicken video. <laughs> so I know some of you have been asking for me to do an update on the chickens and I am working on a video for you now. But I just want to make sure it's thorough and I can show you some of the different things I'm doing for them. Alright, so stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't. Hopefully I'll have that video late next week or the beginning of that following week. Alright, thank you so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day.